Hey gorgeous, it's Aviola and I'm broadcasting from the BX Bronx. I'm at a community garden where my sister Damali is going to be presenting, but I just wanted to bring you a quick blast of self-love, love, love, love. <laughs> so I've been working with, ooh, isn't that a beautiful, beautiful mural? Yes, yay for the beautiful art. So I've been working with the amazing goddesses in my Spiritpreneur Money Mindset Reset Summer Camp. And we have been dealing with money blocks and raising the abundance ceiling dealing with the things that hold us back and keep us small now the same things that keep you out of your stream of abundance for money keep you out of your stream of abundance for love for success for happiness and it's different for each person because some of us may have blocks in money but no blocks in love or blocks in love but no blocks in success etc but it's all the same stuff that's keeping us small so let's talk about it. All right, so there are four main things that we as human beings use to keep ourselves squashed down and keep ourselves small. And actually, let me take it a little bit back further. There are actually two main human fears that we all have at some level until we become aware of them and dissolve them that keep us you know, feeling inadequate and insecure. Number one is fear of not being enough. Number two is fear that we are unlovable. Oh my God, or that we will do something and somehow not be loved. But let's talk about it because you are fundamentally lovable. You are so loved that you were given this whole planet, this whole universe, this whole garden, this whole everything around you. But let's get into now the four fundamental ways Four, <laughs> that this manifests in our lives. And this is from the work of Gay Hendricks, who wrote the book the, um, where he discusses the upper limit problem. I will post the link below. All right, so here are the four fears. Fear number one, fear of outshining somebody you love. Are you keeping yourself small because you're afraid you're gonna outshine the folks you love? Number two, are you keeping yourself small because you fear deep down that you are fundamentally broken, fundamentally inadequate, people like you don't do well, people like you don't fall in love, aren't happy, aren't successful? Are you keeping yourself small? That's number two. Number three is because you think that it is a betrayal. Ooh, a betrayal of your family, your culture, your tribe, your friend group, whatever it is to be successful or to be happy or to be abundantly wealthy or just to be yourself or be loved. And number four is, as Biggie put it, more money, more problems. Are you keeping yourself small because you believe that having abundance, an abundance of happiness or an abundance of love, success, good times, um, whatever it is, is going to cause more problems and more issues in your life so these are the four fundamental ways that we keep ourselves squashed down and small and so I just wanted to just hop on here make you aware of this <laughs> show you some beautiful art and awareness is the first step the next step is dissolving and dismantling these lies that you have been telling yourself about yourself I know because I've been telling myself the same exact lies about myself but we are not doing that anymore. And that is growth, that is expansion, that is evolution, all right? So leave me a comment, let me know, are any of these things showing up in your life and keeping you squashed down and small? And if so, what are you gonna do about it? All right, my love, be seen, be heard, be art, be a movement. Namaste.